Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a full beginner's guide on how to use Slack. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to give you guys a bit of insight on what Slack actually is, Slack is a productivity tool whose, uh, whose function is to be a base of communication as well as operations for any remote work. Now, when I say remote work, I'm not simply talking about just remote work 100%, but, but Slack can also be applied in real life work or rather uh, real world applications in work that require a lot of um, documenting and updates. So an example being a construction project. So just imagine this, um, you have a Slack channel for a certain project to put up a mall. Now, ideally you would want to have a means of communication between the client as well as the people who are actually doing the work. So uh, this would involve the architects, the engineers, as well as the construction workers involved as well as the legal team. Now Slack is a handy tool because it keeps everyone in touch and updated about the developments and ongoing and going ons of the project. So that's pretty cool. Now I should mention that there are actually two versions of Slack that you can use, both of which work just fine. So there's the browser version, which I'm currently using right now, as well as the, um, the desktop app. Now both have the same functions, only that with the desktop app, there's more flexibility for um, uh, allocating your computer's resources as it's a direct app that your computer runs rather than it just being another tab on your browser. Now, apart from that though, uh, they should come with the same functions and integrations, so it should work just the same. The only upside you're getting from actually running the desktop app is off the top of my head, just better security and uh, better performance as your computer is running the thing. So. Putting all that aside, let's actually get to the bare bones structure of Slack. So think of Slack as like a chat group application. So this allows you to communicate with your clients as well as your coworkers. So it's a means of um, keeping in touch with them as well as sharing your notes with them, documents and whatnot, and having a means of sharing assets with everyone in the company. So that's the definition of Slack in a nutshell, but there's obviously more, more to it than that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over every um, section and feature of Slack and explain things as I go. So with all that said, let's begin. So the first one I'll be talking about is the profile section. Now, before you get into the actual standard operating procedures of your company, you would want to customize your Slack to, to fit your preference. So in my case, I actually like to have it on dark mode. So this way it doesn't strain my eyes and People like to joke, but this is a thing that this is a setting that will actually pay off in the long run. And to do it, what you need to do is you want to navigate to the bottom left of your window or screen and you want to click on your profile, right? And then you want to click on preferences. Now here you get full customizability of your Slack's design and interface. So I like to keep mine on dark mode because like I said, it doesn't strain my eyes and it actually makes the text pop out more. So this way they're easier to read and because you're going to be sitting in front of a computer the whole day, you would ideally want um, longevity in terms of um, physical and mental strain, right? So yeah, here's how you actually change it. You want to go under themes and you want to click on uh, the theme color that you want, you want to use. And the nice thing is Slack actually gives you a preview of this. So for now, I'm going to stick to aubergine and I'm going to stick to dark mode. Now let's exit out of that. Actually, I'm going to go back and show you guys an essential feature. So if you guys want to be able to access your profile as well, um, so these are details pertaining to your contact info as well as your email and your position in the company. You just want to click on the same profile again and click on profile. Now it'll pop out on the right side of your screen, <clears throat> your email as well as your phone, uh, your, your phone number, sorry, and um, your position in the company like your role rather. So that's pretty cool. Now the same, <clears throat> you can see the same details from your coworkers by simply right clicking on their name if you see them on chat or the members list and clicking on their profile. So with that out of the way, let's move on to the chat groups or the channels rather. So this is actually the main event of Slack. So these um, chat groups or um, uh, message channels are where you actually get to communicate with those co the coworkers in that corresponding channel. So let's say that I want to I want to get a sales report update from 
oh sorry rather i, I want to get an update for one of our projects from the r d team so i simply need to click on that channel and ask them uh status update on the x project so it's as simple as that so pretty much the same can be applied to these other channels if you want to talk to the editing team you simply need to navigate to that channel like so to talk to them and that'd be it now another interesting feature is the app section right here here's where you actually get to automate apps into your slack channel or your slack uh, workspace so these automations can be digitally tied to um, project management tools or um, um, cloud apps like uh, Frame.io and what whatnot. So let's say that there's an update that was made on Frame.io saying that the uh, someone from the editing team uploaded uh, the final product or final cut for a podcast for one of our clients. So it would normally go there. And if you were to integrate a link between Slack and Frame.io, you'd get an update in one of these channels, which is pretty cool, I think. Now, it's not, not just limited to um, Frame.io. You could also get alerts or status updates from other apps like ClickUp, um, Monday.com, Descript and whatnot, or maybe even YouTube. So that's pretty cool. Now, putting that aside, though, let's talk about some of these sections here. So this later tab, or rather the icon with the ribbon on it, is actually your list of reminders for the day. Now, only um, uh, project managers or um, users within that workspace on Slack with admin privileges can set reminders for everyone in, in the company. So if uh, to actually do so, you want to click on Create Reminder. And uh, of course, you select the date and whatnot. Now, here you, you can actually add someone, anyone in the team, to let them know that uh, this task needs to be done within a specific time of the day. So that's pretty cool. Now, apart from those features, Slack also comes with a built-in um, voice call or, or video call, as you can see here. So these ones are pretty self-explanatory, so I won't get um, into them too much. But to actually use them, all you have to do is start a huddle. So if I were to select start huddle with the editing team, then it would only call upon the members within that uh, respective channel. So yeah, that's that's Slack. That's Slack in a nutshell. Um, if this guide helped you guys figure out how to use Slack, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like these from us, uh, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. And yeah, thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.